NASA has announced the first moon crew in 50 years. And it is historic, my friends, including the first woman and first African American. The announcement was made at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. The Artemis II crew includes three Americans and one Canadian. They will actually orbit the moon on a 10 day mission in late 2024, setting the stage for an Artemis III mission landing on the actual moon. And if all goes well, hopefully on to Mars. Here's what the crew had to say about making history. I'm most looking forward to paving the way for the future, back to the moon, on to Mars. We need to be better to each other mm -hmm. and to our planet, and I hope this mission can, can inspire more of that. It's American leadership that has created, intentionally created these opportunities. How cool is that? Now, this crew will travel on a 10-day mission that could take them almost 250 thousand miles from Earth. That's the farthest humans have ever traveled. The four astronauts won't land on the moon. Instead, they will embark on a 10 day mission around the moon and then come back to Earth. After the announcement, the crew blasted off, if you will, to NRG Stadium to watch the NCAA men's championship game along with our good friend of the show, Chad Washington. So how was it? How was the game? Oh, it was exciting. It was a great atmosphere for a great championship did game. Did you see the astronauts? Yes, I did. They had a nice little ceremony for them to be recognized during the game. The crowd was definitely into it. Definitely gave them respect that they deserve, and that was nice. But, uh, you know, let's give credit to the credit is due to UConn Huskies. Dominated when they needed to do. Won their fifth national championship. Won, dominated. I mean, really started out dominated both on offense and defense. 172 to 59. They beat San Diego State. Definitely give it up for the Huskies. They had a lot of Husky yeah. fans waking up this morning, heading out to either Bush or Hobby, feeling really good, wearing their blue and white with pride. I, I told Chad we should have bet on and had some money. I would have. He would have won because I, I won wanted the Cinderella won story. Cash. Was it still exciting? Even though they've been there before, did you yes, want that yes, because this is this was a UConn team that really not a lot of people really had winning the national championship. They had a they had a low point in about mid late January where really they lost like like five or six games, and a lot of people were like, okay, is this team really going to be a national? Uh, really, we're going to be contender in the, in their conference, the Big East conference, mm -hmm. and they really ever since then just turned it on, and they've been one of the best teams, most consistent teams all year, and they worked, they got. A lot of big breaks. They and you know, and they look one of the stronger teams. They had a, some great players step up for them. Anamas at Sunoco really played well for them in the, in the post, and that's one of the, they they proved it. They, they're one of the best teams in the country, and look at them now. They are national champions. I love the confetti. What was it like? for one shining moment. That does give me chills. Oh yeah, the, you know, the, the the final part of the, the tournament is to always watch one shining moment, to watch the highlights of the tournament. It's always one of those shocking things just to watch for your team to be in there. And it, it, it was fun, you know, you watch it, all the great moments of the tournament. I looked at it a couple of times. It's always fun to watch that. And it was, and it was, it, it lived up to its moments. And also let's give a shout out to Jim Nance, Houston, you know, University yeah. of Houston grad, calling his final uh, uh, NCAA tournament for CBS. Definitely did, deserved it as well. Great. You want to know fun one. fact? I, his mom, lives in my parents' neighborhood. I actually played bingo with his mom. Oh, well, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, she was really nice. I know. Fun fact about that. Fun fact about that. Also, life. what would you say was your favorite thing? I know that we've been talking about March Madness. I'm kind of going to miss talking about it. What's been your favorite moment, especially with it being here in Houston? Oh, well, I think it was just the idea of going out and seeing all the all the celebrities like I mean you know so many basketball people like I'm going in this you know around in the stadium I'm just like you know on the on the jumbotron I'm like oh wow Kemba Walker's in the stands oh wow Bill Murray's in the stands because yeah. if you did not know Bill Murray's uh, son is assistant coach with UConn. I didn't know that. Yeah that's so funny. that's why he was there he was there in the stands so every time they popped up he was there and the crowd went wild so that was just a fun thing of seeing all these different celebrities either from basketball or not from basketball here in our great city so that's cool and hopefully we get and guess what we get a chance to do this again in January because the college football playoff national championship will be right 
right here at Energy Stadium. But here's the thing. I don't want to wait till January for you to be a correspondent and on my show. So we just have to talk more sports. Well, you know, I like talking well sports. hopefully we'll get a chance to do something with the NFL draft coming up. Okay, sounds good. Producer Lou, you heard it from him himself. <laughs> uh, well, my people will call your people. Sound good? We'll, we'll, we'll work out a deal. <laughs> Chad's the real MVP around here. Thank you as always, my friend. And we actually have the MVP when it comes to Easter brunch. You told me you just realized Easter Sunday. I've, I've been lost. I didn't know that it was Easter Sunday. Well, so I honey got bunny, I got you covered. Yeah. And I have the place where you can take your parents. Great, great. And I have the place where you guys can go too. So stay tuned <laughs> for that. We have plenty of Houston Happens headed your way. As always, a pleasure. Thank you.